It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Just kept our nose clean for the most part, tried to get some track position, and had some help here and there. But uh, um, Denny Hamlin pushed me to the front, and um, Junior was very honorable and, st and stuck to his word and pushed me on that last restart and really didn't expect the L9 and 99 to come the way they did. I was wide open, and uh, Junior was pushing me pretty much all around the racetrack. But uh, congratulations to Brad on his first win. Uh, it's a tough way to earn one um, that way, but uh, he's staying in the victory lane. and. Um, just a, a good, solid finish. I was just glad to get a good finish. You know, I was concentrating on trying to win and trying to win. What could I do? What should I do? Where should I be? But uh, I didn't want to screw myself out of a good finish if, I, if that was all I was going to be dealt. And I got lucky and came home with some points. You don't know. I mean, you just don't know. Tell Vegas such a crapshoot. And... Uh, you can't expect anything. You can't expect to win. You can't expect not to win. And uh, I knew that I had to get locked in with somebody's rear bumper if I was going to run up to the front. And even then, you don't know if it's going to work out. But uh, I think Ryan was doing the same thing he did yesterday in the nationwide race where he wasn't running wide open. He was just trying to hold uh, Dale back there. And he broke their momentum for about a lap or two. And by the time they saw me coming, it was too late. You know, I, I was here to win. I've got no other reason to be here other than to win and to put these guys in victory lane. And uh, holding your line was the way to do it. And uh, I'm sorry it caused a wreck. And sorry for those that are hurt, but uh, that's the situation with, with the rules and, and the way it is. And uh, either way, it was a great show. And uh, I hope the fans had fun with it. This is NASCAR Newscast. Brad Keselowski survived the wild last lap dash to the finish line with Carl Edwards to score his first career NASCAR Spring Cup Series victory in Sunday's Aaron's 499 at Talladega Super Speedway. The duo were battling to the finish line when they made contact, sending Edwards on a wild ride down the Talladega front stretch while Keselowski went on to his first win in five career series starts. Carl Edwards has the lead, though. He's not been in the picture all afternoon. Suddenly he's in the lead, but under attack. Contact here in the trial. Edwards goes up in the air. Brad Keselowski comes by. He'll score the win in the Aaron's 499. This is NASCAR racing at its finest, and this was a great show. I really hope everyone enjoyed it because I had fun. I found myself laughing in the race car halfway through the race, and... Uh, I hope, uh, I hope the fans were cheering and having fun too. Keselowski became the 10th different driver in history to score his first Spring Cup Series win at Talladega. Dale Earnhardt Jr., who owns the Nationwide Series team Keselowski drives for, came home second on Sunday in the wild finish. I was just glad to get a good finish. You know, I was concentrating on trying to win and trying to win. What could I do? What should I do? Where should I be? But uh, I didn't want to screw myself out of a good finish if, I, if that was all I was going to be dealt. And I got lucky and... Came home with some points. Ryan Newman, Marcos Ambrose, and Scott Speed rounded out the top five finishers in a race that featured intense racing and several multi car incidents that sidelined several front runners, including six time Talladega winner Jeff Gordon, who entered the race as the point leader. Gordon was caught up in a 14 car melee on lap seven that also included his teammate and last week's Phoenix winner, Mark Martin. Kurt Busch, who brought his damaged car home to a sixth place finish on Sunday, is now on top of the standings with Gordon five points behind as the series heads to Richmond International Raceway next Saturday night. This is NASCAR Newscast. <laughs>